All right. Uh, probably by now you were wondering, Pete, what the hell, man? You haven't covered how to do product images. I thought those were one of the most important parts of the listing. You would be 100% correct. I haven't covered them. We're going to cover them here in this video. Hopefully I clear up any uh, concerns that you have in regards to images. So in my eyes, there are three main ways to get your Amazon product photography done. And it just kind of depends what is the best fit for you at the given moment in time. So number one is local. And some benefits of having someone local like a friend is, you know, the ease of just being able to, to hit up a friend. I think everyone has at least one friend who has a photography passion and has a professional camera. And that's just what he or she likes to do. And if you have one of those friends, that can be great, a great asset for you because they can easily sort of snap any sort of photo that you want. They can make quick edits in an instant. You don't have to wait for an email if you go through a professional company. You know, they, you can just straight up meet with them in person to be like, hey, this needs to be changed. This needs to be changed. You can be ultra clear and concise with your demands. They can then edit exactly how you want. It's just easy. I, I find having a local person extremely easy. It's what I do currently for most of my product images because I just find it to be the most effective and efficient. Now, another option that you have is you can do them yourself with your smartphone. Your iPhone or Android will suffice. Most smartphones have good enough cameras now to where they can honestly take some really good quality photos. And this is the best option if you have zero budget, no doubt. It's a fast and easy way to get photos done on the fly, kind of like your friend, but you're actually even cutting out an, one other person now and just relying on yourself. So it, so it is going to be the most efficient as far as ease and speed, right? So one thing that to keep in mind if you're going to do photos yourself is I highly, highly recommend that you at least get a, um, a quality light box. I've bought cheap light boxes in the past and they are awful. Do not be cheap with a light box. You need to actually get a, a good quality one. And just keep in mind, you know, it might cost you 100 or 200 bucks for the light box. First and foremost, that's going to be a lot cheaper than hiring a professional to do your images or maybe even your friend. It might even be cheaper than your friend. And that's a one-time expense. So when you release product two, three, four, and five, that light box is still paid for. It's still going to serve you for the foreseeable future. It's a one-time expense, and I believe it's a very worthwhile investment. I'm going to show you exactly which light box I recommend. And in fact, I have a, light, a link to the light box I'm going to show you in the resources list of this course. Now, let's go to the professional online services. So this is by far the best option if you have money to spend and you want to do things at the highest level possible. Now, I know that kind of goes contrary against what I just said about the local thing. This is just my preference. Honestly, I will take slightly less quality images, and I may be a complete idiot for this. I will take slightly less quality just for the ease of being able to get images made exactly how I want them done. You may be different. You may not even want to deal with it and just simply, you might have money in the bank and just want to hire a professional service to take care of it for you, set it and forget it and not worry about it. And I completely understand that as well. I do have a service that I've used that, in my opinion, produce the highest quality professional photos for an online Amazon listing. They're really, really good. They're pricey, but that's just the way images are. Okay, image and video in regards to e-commerce, getting image content and video content made is very, very pricey, especially if you want it to be the best quality. That's just the way it is, unfortunately. And yeah, before I get into like my winning sort of image layout, how I design my own product images and how they should look, let's just, I'm just gonna quickly show you Number one, the light box that you should get if you want to do them yourself. And number two, the online service that you should use if you want to get them done by a professional service. So let's first and foremost, the light box. This is the light box. It's actually made by Amazon's own brand. It's $135. Again, it may seem expensive on the surface. It's a one-time expense that will last you the rest of your life. It's extremely cheap. If you have any sort of photo skill, or maybe you even enjoy taking photos in your spare time, then this is a perfect option for you. If you want low budget, efficient, and just fully customizable at your fingertip photos, highly recommend this light box here. Again, there is a link in the, in the resource list to buy this light box. That's option number one. Option number two is using this service right here, Pixel Perfect Photography. This is a professional 
online service. They produce extremely high quality photos and you're going to pay for it. So let's go to their pricing. So five white background images, one lifestyle, it's going to cost you 600 bucks. Again, this is extremely typical. These guys are not outrageous by any stretch of the imagination. This is pretty in line with other professional services out there. And the reason these guys are good is because they have a good track record with Amazon sellers. They've done a lot of, Am they're very, very familiar with Amazon and they know exactly what to look out for. They know exactly what to, how to optimize and what Amazon likes. So that's the reason why these guys are good is you don't have to worry about them not knowing what Amazon is all about. They specialize in Amazon. And what I also like about them is the fact that they include lifestyles. They, they even include an infographic here and they even have a model available in this silver package here. In most other services, number one, they don't even offer infographics. And number two, if you want to actually get a talent such as a model in some of your photos, it's gonna cost you an extra sort of fortune on top of, of your images. So big fan of how they include everything in one package. That's why I like these guys a lot. And they're very, very, very high quality images. So again, what's this nine white, so that's 12, 13. So for 13 images, including the option of having a professional model, it's $700. Again, on the surface, seems really expensive. That is a great, great deal in the scheme of things. So this is the service I highly recommend, Pixel Perfect Photography. Our services, you can read all about them. They do lifestyles, they do plain white background, they do models, they do wow images with graphic design and hassle-free product shipping. See, that's kind of the difference with these guys is the fact that most all other online image services, they can't do everything in one. They can't do graphic design or edits or graphical you know, infographics as well as model photography, static photography, and everything. These guys can do everything in one. That's why I find them to be the best. And how it works, you can read all about it. Pixel Perfect, there is also a link to this service in my resource list of this course if you want to check these guys out. So that's that. Now that we have our bases covered there, let me just quickly go over how I sort of structure my Amazon images. Let me blow this up a little bit. So this is based on seven images. This is m most likely going to be what your requirement is. Probably can't go past seven. Seems to be sort of the baseline now. In your main image, I've mentioned before, I believe, you have to have a pure white background. With, and knowing that, I make my main image with a pure white background with a very, very good quality, clear photo of the product. And be sure to include your free bonus. If you are offering a free bonus, include that in the main image. See, not only are we going to increase our conversion rate in sales by offering that free bonus, but we're also going to increase our click-through rate and eyeballs to our listing, and it's, which makes our ads convert better, which makes everything convert better. That's why the main image is so important. And if you have a free bonus that you're offering that you can throw into your main image, well, it's certainly going to stand out and look different from every single other competitor on Amazon, which is another amazing bonus of having a free bonus. <laughs> so that's what I do for that. Number two and number three, I like to have lifestyle and in-use photos, lifestyle and or product in use photos. You can even include some text in these photos. Is that against Amazon's terms of service? Yeah, but have I ever gotten in trouble for using text in my images? No, I have not. What would I do if Amazon got mad at me for using text in my images? I'd remove it. Um, it's pretty simple. I mean, you're not gonna get banned, knock on wood, for including text in your image. Seeing as how every single person does it, <laughs> you know, practically, if you look at Amazon, if you look at all the top selling listings, most of them have text in their images. Most of them are offending Amazon's terms of service egregiously. I'm not talking egregiously either for us. I like to have a lifestyle in use photo with just a little text or just a little arrow, nothing outrageous, okay? Number four, I like to have an infographic or a chart and that pixel perfect service can make it for you. 
If you want to make one for free, I, I highly suggest you go to canva.com. They have a whole bunch of nice free infographic layouts that you can just make yourself. Pure white background image. Again, I kind of like to throw in another pure white background. It just looks nice and clean. Another lifestyle and or in use photo. And number seven, I usually like to throw in a picture of everything that the customer is going to get in their order, which includes hopefully you have really nice custom packaging that you can show off. If you don't have custom packaging and you have standard packaging, then don't show the packaging. It kind of depends on the situation, right? If you have really nice custom packaging, I would show the packaging next to the product you're selling, including the bonus. Show them the whole entire package that they're going to get in the order with a little bit of text in the form of a CTA, which is, which could be anything like use so-and-so coupon code to save 10% right now or hurry while supplies last, or be as aggressive or not aggressive as you want, or just not do that at all. Again, this is what I do. I'm not here to tell you that this is 100% within terms of service because it's not. It's your business ultimately, and it's your decision. I haven't gotten flagged or in tr gotten in trouble for doing any of these things in mine, so that's just why I'm recommending it here. But ultimately up to you. I'm not responsible for your business, so... That's exactly how I go out there and construct my images. And yeah, let me just, I'll, I'll highlight a quick example on Amazon that might, so you can see a real life example. So let me, as I recall, Bluetooth speaker. So this Cambridge Soundworks guy has always caught my eye. He's got good images, right? Main image, what's his main image? It's a nice, it's a nice pure white background. It's big, it covers up the majority of the picture. This one, nice graphic, really, really catches your eye. It's really attention grabbing with a little bit of text. Product in use, AKA or and or lifestyle with a little bit of text describing what is in the picture. Again, same thing. Sort of an infographic chart, if you will. More custom photos of the product with some text that shows its features. And again, and he has a video in place of where I would put our packaging slash CTA image just because he's a, he's a big seller and Amazon allows big sellers currently to have videos in their listings. Soon enough, I believe that feature is gonna be rolled out to everybody. That's exactly how I would go out and construct my images. One other tip I would have, what I like to do is sort of align whatever features that you order in your bullets, right? So I like to sort of align that with my images. So superior sound quality with rich full bass is what I'm going to highlight in my first bullet point. I'm going to try to highlight that in my first image and he does that actually. Funny enough he does that and I like to keep it that streamline. 100 foot range he does that too. Okay. Player music wirelessly He do he's doing it exactly how I would do it this guy knows what he's doing. He's a big seller. It's no mystery why he's absolutely crushing it on Amazon because he knows what he's doing. Hope that's helpful. It gives you sort of a benchmark and a layout of what to do, what's going to convert the highest. It does, of course, vary based on your product, how many sort of lifestyles you can have. Use your own judgment and common sense. And that's that. We've covered product images, and now we're on to the next thing.